When you think of camping, what is the one must have food that you have to have? S'mores, right? Unfortunately, s'mores are not really keto friendly. Every traditional ready-made ingredient in a s'more is not keto. From the graham cracker, the marshmallow, and the chocolate, it's just hard to do s'mores when you're camping and you're trying to stay keto. I have a solution for you. I'm gonna show you how to make keto s'mores without having to make a huge batch of keto marshmallows or graham crackers that taste nothing like a graham cracker. Today, we're making portion controlled keto s'mores. love camping and my husband and I have gone camping several times and stayed on the keto diet successfully. But the one thing I always kind of missed was s'mores and I have made them on my own before, but it is a pain to have to make up this big batch of sugar-free marshmallow that is really finicky. It's really easy to over mix it so it doesn't set right. Plus it looks weird and it's, you have to make up your own graham crackers too. And they never really tasted much like graham crackers to me. So I'm going to fix all that for you. We are going to make this super simple and we're not going to make up a huge batch. We're actually only going to be making four s'mores, which is perfect if you're feeding anybody from one to four people. So now everybody can enjoy something around the campfire. Before we get started, I want to take time to thank today's sponsor, which is Element. Element is an electrolyte drink mix that is sugar-free and keto friendly. Their mixes come in a wide range of flavors from citrus, orange, raspberry, watermelon, they even have chocolate. And I love that they contain more electrolytes than other brands. Like there's a thousand milligrams of sodium in one pack and they taste delicious and they're easy to dissolve too. If you want to try Element, you can. You can get a free sample pack with eight packets of Element, one of each flavor, and all you have to do is just pay for shipping, which in the U.S. is only $5. I'll have the link down below in the description box for you. To make our keto s'mores, we're going to first start by making the keto graham crackers. In a small bowl, we're gonna add a quarter cup of almond flour, two teaspoons of coconut flour, one tablespoon of a golden monk fruit sweetener. You can use any sort of sweetener you want. There's different types of that have like the erythritol in it. You just want something like that's equivalent to brown sugar. So I'm using golden monk fruit in this case. One egg yolk. We don't wanna add in the whites to this recipe because we want our graham crackers to lay flat and be a little bit crispy. That's, it's a cracker, right? So we don't really wanna have a lot of air or fluff to this cracker. You'll also need one tablespoon of softened unsalted butter. And then to get that graham cracker flavor, I'm gonna be adding in some flavor drops. This is actually graham cracker flavor drops and I'll have the information listed down below on where I got this. And if you don't have graham cracker flavoring drops and don't wanna purchase some, well, as a substitute, you could just use vanilla extract instead and maybe even a pinch of cinnamon. And then a pinch of salt, just because it helps bring out the flavors. The next thing I'm gonna do is mix them all together, but I'm gonna be using a fork to mix this together. I just find that the fork just, it makes it easier to cut that butter into all the dry ingredients since we're not actually adding a lot of liquid. It's just your yolk and the butter. So using a fork makes it super easy. Once your dough is combined, then we're gonna layer it between two sheets of parchment paper and roll it out using a rolling pin. You wanna roll your dough out pretty thin, so maybe around like an eighth of an inch and try and get it into a rectangle shape if you can. I struggled with this, it just really just wanted to form a circle every single time I tried to roll it into a rectangle. But if you did roll it into a rectangle shape, it just makes it easier to cut out your squares. When it comes to cutting out your square graham cracker shapes, you have some options. You could use a pizza cutter or a knife. If you actually have a square cookie cutter, that works really well. I'm gonna be using a bench scraper to cut my shapes. And it doesn't matter the size of graham cracker that you make. Ideally, you just want it to fit your chocolate. So my chocolate is maybe around like an inch, a little over an inch thick, and it is a square. So I use my chocolate as my guide to figure out how, how much to cut. And then to help keep these from puffing up as they bake, I'm gonna prick them with a fork and that will just kind of give some room for the air to escape so we don't get a puffy cracker. We're gonna place these on a parchment lined baking tray. 
You're gonna bake these in a 325 degree oven for around eight to 10 minutes, just until it starts to get a little golden brown. Once they're done baking, you wanna remove them from the oven and do not pick them up yet. You need to let them cool 100% so that you can handle them. If you try and handle them now, they're gonna break and you're gonna get mad at me and say that I gave you a failure recipe and I didn't, it's just that you didn't listen. So let them cool 100% before you handle them. In the meantime, let's talk about our keto marshmallows and our chocolate. So there are a couple brands out there that are making some sugar-free marshmallows, which is a lifesaver because I don't know if you've ever tried to make keto marshmallow before, it's not fun. It's sticky. It's really easy to over whip it so that you are just left with this blob and it's not, doesn't pour right or anything like that. So super finicky to make. So I love that there's companies now making keto approved marshmallows out there. These are sugar free and they taste and smell just like a regular marshmallow and they actually roast like a regular marshmallow too. So I will have some of those listed down below in the description box for you. And of course, we all know that keto chocolate is readily available. Just grab your favorite brand. Um, I'll have my favorite brand listed down below in the description box, but you just want like an actual bar or a small bar. If you have a bigger bar, you can cut it to size. If you can't get a hold of keto approved chocolate, just get a dark chocolate that's maybe like around 90% or 85% chocolate. It will have some sugars in it, but at least it's better than nothing. Now the cool thing about this recipe is that the only prep that you need to do ahead of time is just these keto graham crackers. So the day before you're leaving for camping or even the morning of, actually I think you could even make this recipe in your trailer if you have a trailer. All you need is an oven. Um, and these might even bake in the microwave. I haven't tried it yet. Pretty sure they'll work in the air fryer too. But all you need to do is just make up your keto graham crackers ahead of time, store them in like a plastic container, a glass container, Ziploc bag, and get the rest of your ingredients, your marshmallows, your chocolate, your sticks to roast your marshmallows, and you're good to go but you don't necessarily have to go camping in order to enjoy keto s'mores. You could actually make these in the comfort of your home too. I just use the open flame on my stove top, but I mean, I think a candle will work as well. Now that you guys have a basic recipe for making the easiest keto s'mores ever, you could really get fun with it and do some fun variations like adding a keto peanut butter cup or different types of chocolate, maybe white chocolate. They have those fun flavored ones that are out as well. Um, let me know some suggestions that you guys have down below in the comment section. 